Care in India's primary is sick care, highly fragmented with rising disease burden, with fragmented and inadequate infrastructure, with a low paying capacity. This is the reality of Indian healthcare scenario. We are largely a sick care economy and not a healthcare economy. My agenda would be to talk about what is the current state of IT in healthcare. Is e-health an important enabler? Should we all accept it? Are we ready to adapt e-health in India? What are some of the areas where e-health can be easily adapted? In India, if you see, um, out of the 85 small, 85 percent of the small hospitals, there is hardly any in, any investment in the e-health. In the corporate or the large hospitals, the investment in e-health is just one percent of the total capex, and that also 85 percent is on IT infrastructure, basic infrastructure, computers, endpoints, servers. Whereas if you compare it with US, there 60 percent of the investment in IT is on applications and developing new softwares. Whereas uh, we are still, one, we have not invest, made huge investment in IT and our IT's investment is at a very basic level. We are still not using IT as an enabler for healthcare, as for reducing cost of healthcare. What are we really investing in right now? We definitely invest in high-end medical equipments, but we don't invest in e-prescriptions. We definitely don't have COP. We still have manual indents. We still have nurses uh, filling at least 16 registers. What do we do? We build a world-class infrastructure, but our OPD queues are, are actually very long. And this could be across any hospital that you visit in India. This is the actual picture of a medical record department today. That's how our records are maintained right now. What, do we, what kind of infrastructure do we have? We use IT for tracking our pizza order. We all do it now. When was the order placed? What stage it is? When will it be delivered? But we don't have GPRS system for our ambulances. We invest a lot. Are we really conscious when it comes to IT? We invest a lot in, call, in infection control for NABH, ACI accreditation. But when it comes to something like printers, we use refill toners, which can actually create lung infections. So, so we are, as a country, we need to really relook at our IT strategy. Is e-health an important enabler? As for the WHO, e-health could transform the healthcare scenario of any country. By using the mobile and wireless technology, we could, make, we could bring patients to the core. Currently, our healthcare delivery system is such that the physicians and the hospitals are added to the core and patients revolve around it. But e-health can enable it to deliver that. Are we ready to adopt e-health? And that's a very important question. Okay, everyone talks about e are, are we as a country willing to adopt? Or do we have the infrastructure? The answer to that is quite big yes. If you see from the patient's perspective, we have more than 900 million mobile users. Our internet users are more than 243 million, which is growing at a CAGR of 25%. Which tells you that we as a country have the infrastructure. It's just that we need to enable the use, uh, bring health, health to that platform. There's an increasing awareness and demand for services. The patients are asking for, for reports online. They are demanding they are demanding their health records. There was a recent ruling by Supreme Court saying the health records is a property right of the patient. Are the providers? Yes. Healthcare providers are increasingly recognizing IT as an important tool for meeting their business objective. Invariably, we are seeing that the CIOs are becoming more and more part of the business lead uh, business engagement or strategy development. Government is investing in IT. The entire ICT document of government focuses on, on e-health. CIO's uh, willingness to try new technology. We see adoption of new technology. The whole convention is about, about uh, showcasing innovation in healthcare. Technology providers, you know one, Steve Jobs said something very nice. I'm not scared of Microsoft or HP. I'm scared of the, of the two young people sitting in the garage and developing new technology. This is what is happening in eHealth. Today you will have at least 36,000 entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs developing new technologies for, for eHealth and healthcare. So we have, this is a very exciting place right now in India to adopt eHealth. What are some of the areas where eHealth can create an impact? And this is quite important. If you see, E-health is one single tool that can help us in, in changing the healthcare, healthcare behavior of the Indian population. We as a, as a country are still a sick care economy, like I said, are not very aware of the healthcare behavior. It can help us in overcoming the healthcare inequality in the healthcare infrastructure. A third most important part where e-health can play a role is building, help us in building the skills of our workforce. Help, help us in other, other areas, controlling the non-communicable disease management. Some examples. 
lack of awareness unhealthy practices you know service solutions could be services built around awareness you know there is the entire nctc program which starts tracking a woman when she gets pregnant when she conceives a baby till she delivers and then doing the infant infant tracking connecting gps pharmacies diagnostic centers of patients reduce dropout health call centers some example and this is not new it's already activated in india in some part of the india but not at a national level healthcare magic nutrition vista HMRI, the counseling, counseling in AP gets 15 million calls per annum. This is the kind of scope that that lies in in this scenario. Overcoming the healthcare infrastructure gap, I think you must have all heard it many times that seven metros has seven percent of the population, but 25 percent of the of the of the healthcare infrastructure. E-health with the use of telemedicine, teleradiology, we could reduce that gap to quite an extent. And there's a lot of innovations happening. The good part is we have already heard in the early sessions, ISRO is doing a lot of activities around this. Apollo, Apollo is very active in this telemedicine space. You have, you have other, Apollo recently launched Apollo e, EICU, which is a very, very innovative mechanism of creating ICUs in tier two, tier three cities, which is absolutely missing in, in the current scenario of India. Providing diagnostic services to the patients in remote locations which is very important, Nayan remote ECG. So we have every, every, every we, what we see is that all the good corporate organizations are in some way adapting e-health for, for coming close to the patients. And if you see recently, and I, yesterday I was in Ames, there was a session on IT in healthcare, a similar session, in which Ames had come out with a 16-page booklet of the initiatives they have taken in Ames Hospital Delhi around technology, around e-health. And they have automated their entire OT booking process, OPD appointment process, their inventory processes, their, their records are available online. The resident can actually access this patient's records on his mobile. That's the kind of transformation we are seeing in India right now. Build the skill, uh, building the skill set of Indian, Indian clinical workforce. Just to quote, one of the nursing directors of a, of a very famous healthcare chain just quoted that out of 65 nurses interviewed, only one is, one is equipped to serve the patients. That's the kind of gap that exists. E-health e should, be, should be extended to e-learning e in healthcare. And you have, and especially the ASHA workers. Today, ASHA workers is a very, very strong workforce which needs to be, if you really want to reach the grassroots level in terms of healthcare, ASHA work, ASHA, the, the capability of the ASHA workforce needs to be built. And e-health is a very, very strong tool for, for us. Non-communicable disease management, I think we all know about it, you know, putting your, uh, Putting your medicines online, you are able to send remote uh, transferring your data remotely to the doctor who can monitor your who can monitor you and share 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 the vitals with him. So e-health is becoming very the, the so-called Facebook apps that we hear is Stepathon, Nike and iPhone applications. You know, there's a new smart band that everyone moves around with. So there's a lot of innovations happening around that. Especially, there's a new application, new game that has come up for the kids to make them active. You know, how much you weigh, you can track it, and how much, how much workout you do. So it's becoming a new thing in, in, in India. About Rico, this slide is for Arvind. He told me specifically that we don't want people to speak about their company. So there's 20 more slides. Is Arvind there? Arvind is not here. So my last slide is when an IT and techno healthcare works together, even the illness can become wellness.